Hey guys, it's me, Lil Ninja, back with another video, and today we're doing What If Naruto Was Fused With Kurama, and I'm sorry for that little bit of a hiatus that I did. That was mainly because I was on a vacation to a very great place called Ocean City. Yeah, reminds me of when my crab died. Anyways, I'm back, and I'm bringing part twos in this week and next, next week. Meaning the week after next week, I will be bringing part threes and maybe some new videos. I don't know yet because we're not there yet. So if I go on a hiatus when we when we get to that when when we get to that point, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing in, in advance because I like going on these crazy hiatuses where I don't make videos for like a very long time, and I'm trying to not do that anymore. Uh, but we do have some shoutouts from last week and the week before that. We have uh, many, 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 many shoutouts. We have these four shoutouts, as you can see on screen right now. And one is asking for more of this series, which is why we're starting off with this series. Uh, not because, like, not because, like, uh, this was the first series that we started off with uh, last week. Yeah, 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 that's de that's definitely not the reason that we're starting off like this. But uh yeah, this is the series that we're doing for this week. I mean, I'm if y'all guys want me to do this series like like make this week this series only, then I'll do it. Actually, that's a lie. I'm probably going to not do it anyway. I might, I don't know. Cuz I make these all all these videos on one day. But you know what, since that comment, I'm going to do all the series today are going to be uh, this series right here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We start off with Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura sitting down in training ground 7. Two out of the three are hungry as Naruto is the only one that ate. They wait for a few more hours and then Kakashi appears and is basically livid. I mean, well, not livid. Sees that Naruto is the only one that ate. And Kakashi would state, I um, would ask Naruto why did he eat. And then Naruto would state that he suggested that they didn't eat. And uh, th Sakura would be like, what? No, he told us not to eat. And Kakashi would be say would uh, would have this dark aura, and then would say correct. If they had, if uh, they knew that he was going to be late, so uh, he, they should have known that he was going to be late, so they should have ate anyway. Basically, what is what he's saying? Unless they wanted to stay hungry until lunch. So with this, Kakashi would pull out two, I mean, three lunch boxes and would place them on the three logs, training logs that were inside of training ground seven. Of course, uh, Kakashi is, uh, would explain the bell test, pretty much important to canon. Naruto is just uh, looking at Kakashi like a piece of meat, ready to fight Kakashi whenever he has the chance. As remember, this is a Naruto that has been fused with Kurama. This Naruto is way more animalistic than how our canon Naruto is. Meaning that Naruto is basically a, well, he has a lot more fox features. With this, I'm just going to be saying Naruto has claws. And he's basically learned the Horatian and uh, the Rasengan. Well, it took him a while, it took him a long, long time to learn the Horatian, but a little less time to for him to learn the Rasengan. With this, Kakashi is is in for a surprise as his student, the son of the fourth Hokage, has two of the fourth fourth, fourth Hokage's jutsu. With this, Kakashi does not know what he's about to get into. 
Kakashi would start the test as Naruto would just go on all fours and rush at him and then throw a on a kunai. Of course, this is a Horizon Kuna as Kakashi wouldn't really pay that much attention to it, not noticing the little Horizon seal that is on the handle of the kunai. With this, he would look back in front of him as there's no Naruto, and Naruto is ending with B behind him with a Rasengan. And, of course, Naruto would almost plummet this Rasengan directly into Kakashi until, well, Kakashi would turn out to be a log. With this, Kakashi would be far away from Naruto and would be thinking a mile a minute. How does he know those two jutsu? Those are the fourth Hokage's jutsu. The only, per the only way that he could learn those is if Jiraiya or the third Hokage would have given him access to those jutsu. And even then, someone would have to be training with him. There's no way he could learn all that by himself. Naruto would be looking back at the log and then looking at Kakashi and he would state why did you dodge Kakashi would state that he was going to dodge anyway like he wasn't gonna take a full Rasengan to the back Rasengan's hurt Naruto would explain that he didn't make it a full power Rasengan if he did then he probably would have died if he dodged I mean if he dodged because well <clears throat> He, see, uh, he sees the Horizon mark that's been placed on his back, basically. Nar Naruto can't access this Horizon mark, but if he was able to force his chakra into the Horizon mark with t by touching Kagashi, he would be able to uh, he would be able to teleport to that Horizon which his father had left on Kagashi. With this, Naruto is uh, uh, is showing his teeth and is basically ready to go all out as he knows that Kakashi could handle him. Also knowing that he probably shouldn't use, uh, he probably shouldn't use his, uh, his Kyuubi chakra. So Naruto would rush at uh, Kakashi and on all fours using ferocity and basically elute, I mean his clones to basically distract Kakashi and attack him with ease, making him uh, basically disorienting Kakashi. With this, Naruto would form another Rasengan as Kakashi would catch the Rasengan and throw Naruto into the forest, with, Naruto, with Kakashi actually having to put his book away early on inside of the fight. With this, Sasuke would be livid as he saw that Naruto was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kakashi and uh, he knows Kakashi I mean well he doesn't know no Kakashi but he like knows the stories of the copy ninja and he knows that Kakashi is very strong he's one of the strongest ninjas as he was trained by Lord Forth and with that being said if uh, if Naruto is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a someone that was trained by Lord Forth and someone that could possibly be one of the strongest ninja in the village. How strong is Naruto at this point? Sasuke would get be uh, growing more angry at this point and would rush out at Kakashi, thinking that he, if Naruto can uh, uh, go toe to toe with Kakashi, then so can he. So, Sasuke would start throwing weaker punches than Naruto was, but still pretty good for a ninja that is his age. And basically, Kakashi is not really giving, uh, he's not really giving it his all like he was with Naruto. <coughs> basically, Kakashi is blocking everything. And someone, as once and often, he feels a little bit too lazy to block anything, so he just takes the weak punch. And no, Kagashi ends up burying Sasuke like in the original and Sakura of course is out for the count as she sees uh, uh, a genjutsu of Sasuke basically. With this, and when she wakes up she sees Sasuke's head and uh, well she passes out again. I know I said I was going to make her more useful inside of the like inside before Shin, uh, Shin I mean Shin Naruto uh, Shippuden? Yeah, Shippuden. 
I know I was gonna I was gonna yeah but I can't start I can't start right now this is still the beginning of the what ifs and I can't start uh, making her more OP right now I'll make uh, I'll make her more OP and maybe in the Zabuza arc let's go with the Zabuza arc and then she'll be a little bit stronger of course uh, right for right now she is weak because I also have a plan for how she knows that she needs to get stronger with this Naruto would burst out of the forest with a hundred clones and these clones would all rush at Kakashi with this Naruto would be the last one to rush at Kakashi Kakashi with Kakashi being overrun by clones and two of them would have grabbed two bells with this Kakashi would be getting uh, swarmed and Naruto has two bells as all the clones would poof and the two clones that had the bells would give Naruto the bells and Naruto would uh, hand I mean would uh, would b toss both the bells to I mean would wake would wake Sakura and Sasuke up and would give them both the bells as he said and he as he says what's one more year inside the ninja academy it doesn't matter to me I'll just go back Kakashi was states that they all pass and Naruto would be confused as he thought that uh as he thought that one of them would have to leave and well uh that it wasn't that way basically Kakashi would explain basically the real bell test uh, how they were supposed to use teamwork but even though they didn't use teamwork Naruto showed that he cares about his teammates and that basically made them end up passing so, so with this Naruto uh, would uh, sit and would reflect on all the what on all all the memories that he's had so far all the all of his regular memories and all the memories from Kurama, Kurama's past and everything that has happened, thinking that he's come a far, a long way, meaning that he still has some t uh, time to get as strong as Kurama was, knowing that he's basically no longer Kurama or Naruto at this point, although he still uses the name of Kurama. I mean Naruto. With this, Naruto. Uh, would wander off back to his house as he celebrates and we time skip to a few week I mean like let uh, to like a day later let's start with a day and then we'll time skip to a week with this Naruto Kakashi Sasuke and Sakura would be doing some D-rank missions as Sakura would basically hurt one of her fingers by uh, pulling up a radish from the garden that they were working in for the D-rank mission. As she would complain all about it, and this would be the last straw for Naruto, as Naruto doesn't really like Sakura like he does in the canon, and also he's more animalistic and has less patience in, than in the original. Like, a lot less. Like, Nar regular Naruto has, like, little patience, but this Naruto basically has no patience. And, well, he's been patient for Sakura for a while now. He's She's been complaining about all the D-rank missions that they were doing. And, basically, when something doesn't go her way, she doesn't help with the D-rank missions. And so, basically, this was the last straw, the last and final straw for Naruto. And, basically, he would basically... Uh, would lash out at Sakura, stating that she is so useless that she can't even do a couple of D-rank missions without complaining that this st stuff is not going her way. She's so useless that if they were to be on a C-rank mission, they would all probably die trying to protect her. With this, Sakura would ref uh, reflect would be well, would basically be mad at first until the words that Naruto is speaking would start impacting her more and more, stating that she all she cares about is Sasuke, all she cares about is be looking good for Sasuke, and that doesn't matter inside the real ninja world. She could die, and Sasuke couldn't eat, wouldn't even bat an eye. And with this, uh, so Sakura would uh run away as she would reflect on what Naruto has said for that day.
from that day. Basically, Naruto would give her a wake-up call as that was really much needed as she finally realized that Sasuke does not care about her. And if she wants to actually be a good ninja, then she's going to have to start changing. With a few, with Naruto getting reprimanded by Kakashi, and uh, I mean, well, not really and, but anyway, we time skip. Uh, to like a week later and Sakura has really turned around as Sakura would basically uh, have uh, have a more ninja outfits Naruto would too as Naruto did really change his wardrobe but it wasn't really a big change it was uh, orange to blue orange and blue to orange and uh crimson so he would end up changing his fit to be like crimson uh crimson and black dark well dark crimson and black with a black shinobi cloak and he's not really using a jumpsuit anymore it's more of like ninja pants and uh black ninja pants a crimson a crimson short sleeve shirt and a uh, black and crimson cloak, basically. That's what Naruto is basically wearing, Al along with the along with the black sandals. With this, Sakura would be uh, wearing something similar. With her, she her wearing black ninja pants, a, a black ninja a Konoichi a, a black Konoichi shirt, and having a sword on her back and basically having her head bend the correct way which is on her forehead <laughs> on her forehead i'm sorry i had to laugh at that anyways kagashi uh, everybody everybody else sasuke kagashi uh, are wearing the same thing naruto and sakura are the only ones that have changed and sakura has changed for the better Naruto, we still don't know if he is uh, changed for the worse or the better as, well, there's some upsides and there's some downsides. One, there's no more voice in the back of Naruto's head. Two, uh, uh, but there's all, he's basically a lot more powerful than in canon at this point. And he already has the Rasengan and the Horashin. So, like I said, there's upsides and there's some downsides. Anyway, they would be taking even more D-rank missions until, of course, Naruto has had enough. And this is like a lot earlier than how than in canon, as they were doing a lot more missions. Also, Naruto has way much less patience. The only reason why he even lasted this far is because he wanted to respect his uh, his Gigi, his grandfather, the third Hokage. And with that respect, he wanted to basically he wanted to. Let me think. He wanted to not. Uh, he wanted to not disrespect his uh, Gigi, basically. But that would be over as Naruto has decided that he does not want to do any more of these bogus missions and would ask uh, his GJ to give them a new mission, a C rank mission, a higher ranked mission, because he does not want to do these missions anymore as they are trash. Of course, uh, Iruka would reprimand uh, Naruto at first before the third Hokage would comply and give them the Searing mission, the bridge mission, the uh, land of ways mission, whatever you want to call it. But now we are in the new arc and Sakura is not useless and Naruto is base is very powerful. Let's see how this one will go. But... Uh, they meet Tazuna and Naruto really does not like Tazuna at all so Naruto is just gonna have his like Naruto uh, burst out at Tazuna with a kunai directly uh, to Tazuna's neck and Naruto is basically holding Tazuna down stating that they are the best team that he's going to get and Kakashi would reprimand Naruto again and would state that Naruto doesn't ha have to kill the clients. 
But that is where we leave off for now, as this is basically very good. I hope you will watch the next part. I still don't completely know if I'm going to make this in all, uh, actually, I do kind of know. This is not going to be a all what if Karama and, uh, what if uh, Naruto and Karama fused video. This is just going to, this is just going to be a parts two, uh, direction for this week. So without further ado, roll the outro. Ayo Parish, this shit high, boy. Shawty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two-seater, yeah, we heading for the sun. Shawty got my high, I ain't trippin' for the funds. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I won't stun. Oh, oh, living lively. Everybody tryna ride my wave, they can ride me. Pull up in a foreign to the curb, lookin' icy. I ain't never stressed about a fit, I'm on hype, bitch.